Harmony Landing in the Strategic Communications AJGA Justin Thomas Junior Championship presented by Focus. First and foremost, before we get started, I want to thank everybody for participating today and certainly thank all of our sponsors that are listed up around the putting green and in various places. Without your participation today, without all the uh, sponsors that are involved to help us raise all these funds, this would not be possible, let alone the funds that are gonna go to benefit the first tee of, Ch of uh, Louisville, the ACE grant, which benefits children in need to play some golf tournaments, and uh, the Justin Thomas uh, Junior Scholarship, which will be awarded to somebody here in Louisville, and about, or not Louisville, in Kentucky here in the next 10 days or so. So we're just gonna let Justin uh, loosen up a little bit here before we put him to the test. Um, we're gonna hit a few balls, certainly take some questions, and uh, if there's something, burning question that uh, you have, we wanna hear it, and Justin will do his best to answer it for you. We thought uh, we would start out by uh, letting Justin verbalize a little bit of, uh, since everybody's getting ready to play the golf tournament today and tomorrow and the next day, what uh, what he does uh, the morning of an event or the day of an event when he heads out, what his kind of preparation routine is. So I'll kind of let Justin take it from here. How you guys doing? First off, this is why I moved to Florida. <laughs> a little cold. Um, thank you all for coming out today and then for the tournament. It, it means a lot to me and for all y'all to be here. Um, and uh, it's great to especially have this event not only in Louisville but in my home course. So I hope. Hope y'all can enjoy <coughs> enjoy the weekend. But uh, yeah, for everyone's different in terms of warm up and um, and how long they take and what they do and whatnot. But I would say I'm more on the short side of a warm up. I I um, I'll probably take anywhere. It depends on the facilities. I'll take anywhere from 50 50 minutes to a place like Augusta, I'll go an hour 15, hour 20, because I spend a lot of time working on speed and chipping and putting, but I'm usually about 50 minutes. So I'll go, I'll stretch in the morning, I'll, I'll work with work with my physio team, kind of go through just getting, getting the body going. And I mean, that's all stuff you don't need someone to do, you can do in your room, just mobility stuff, just kind of get, as, uh, as Tiger says, get the glutes activated, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Um, just kind of get the body going and I, I've, I've always been one to struggle in the morning round, so um, when it gets a morning like this, if I tee up in the morning, it's a little cold, it takes me a while, so that's when I kind of wake up a little earlier and um, kind of do some movement stuff, get me going, but I'll whatever, go eat, and then about 50 minutes or so, I'll go out and putt, and um, I'll take three balls when I go putt first, and I'll hit some balls with uh, alignment stick, just kind of working on patch, just some fundamental stuff to start out. And then um, do that for probably 15, 20 minutes, or I'll, I'll put on the stick for a couple of minutes, but then I'll I'll hit hit putts with three different speeds for the three balls. If I have, you know, a, anywhere from a five to 20 footer, I'll work on, you know, hitting one die speed, hitting one medium speed, hitting one firm speed, just to kind of get the different feels of of when I'm out in the course, because if I have a downhill putt, I'm gonna hit it a lot different speed than I am an uphill putt and being aggressive. So uh, that's kind of stuff where I'm working on in my warm up. And then I'll go chip for 10 to 15 minutes. I'll probably hit balls for 12 to 15 minutes. And then I'll go take one ball and hit anywhere from two to six to eight putts before I play. And then I'll go to the tee about three or four minutes beforehand and go peg it. So I gotta loosen up a little bit so nobody judge me yet. <laughs> so uh, if anybody has uh, some questions, uh, why we loosen up? Everybody hits the wire. This is my teaching tee. This is where my sister and I spend our days teaching, and everybody always hits the wire once at least during the lesson. So if somebody has a question or something, why he's loosened up, I'll certainly be glad to take them. Yes. What's the most unexpected thing on your tour? In terms of what, like just uh, like during during the events or just during the week, what's what's it like? Um, like the most unexpected thing I've had happen, or just like in terms of the tour in general? The tour in general. Um, it's tough. 
That was a tough one. It was. I mean, yeah, we're opening up. Strong. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do the question for you. <laughs> I mean, it, we're so, so spoiled and we're so lucky that, I mean, we get so much done for us that it, it's hard to have a lot happen. Um, I really don't know. I mean, the, the, the hardest part, I would say, and this probably isn't what you're looking for, but managing time. It's just because you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, there's a pro-am, you have all day, you usually have great facilities. So it's like, you know, what am I gonna do? I can go spend 10 hours at the course, but I shouldn't, you know, it's like, do I spend, work out in the morning, do I work out in the afternoon? So I would say, I'm not sure if that's along the lines of what you're looking for, but that's definitely, for me, was a big, um, big thing to adapt to is just kind of getting used to all that. Yes, sir. What was the process of you picking a caddy and uh, what do you look for? Um, for me, I had, it's, it's tough starting out, especially now because you don't start out in the PGA Tour, you know, you have to go through Q School and then to the web.com and you, for myself, I wanted a great caddy, but all the great caddies don't want to play on the web, or caddy on the web, you know, or they already have a bag. So that part's difficult. Um, I had a great caddy through through my year on the web and then half the year on the PGA Tour. And I mean, I still, still stay in touch with him. He's a great friend of mine. He was a great caddy, but he just wasn't the right fit for me, I felt. So we split ways halfway through my rookie year. And then um, you just kind of get, you get, set up through mutual friends you meet them and then my caddy now jimmy johnson caddy for um nick price for a while caddy for stricker for six seven years eight years maybe and i just knew him through same thing from being around being around strick and and seeing them and i knew strick's schedule was going down as i was just kind of starting and i knew jimmy kind of wanted to make definitely wanted to give it another run at least and um and yeah, I knew he had the experience, which is huge as a caddy. You know the right things to say, when to say them, and um, that's uh, he, he's been very influential for me. I'd say. So we'll let Justin keep uh, loosening up here. Uh, another question while we're loosening up. I'm sure you want to see the infamous driver off the dirt. Here we going a little bit ahead of the ball or the uh, club, and then just hit basically like a long pitch shot. <laughs> Let us know when you're loosening up to hit some tee shots. I'm sure that's what I'm ready. ready. Whenever yeah. anybody tell me. Down. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.